What's shaking, YouTube? No chance here. Today we're going to talk about how Conquest Grind Mode can improve your gameplay by simplifying Battlefield 5 tactics into three flags. Even if this game mode doesn't stick around, which I hope it does, its lessons transfer over to other game modes such as regular Conquest. First, we're going to talk about how these three maps are set up and what DICE is giving us for tactical options. Second, we're going to talk about how to be productive as a regularly skilled player in different zones and how they work. Third, finally, we're going to break down the types of flanking and how to utilize them correctly. The first map type we're going to look at is Devastation. This is a flat map. It has two flanks, one center point. Our first left flank there, our middle section coming up here, and at the end, you'll see the right flank. DICE designs these maps as basically a rock, paper, scissor methodology. If everyone goes left, you can flank right. If everyone stays center, you can flank left and right. There's always something to oppose it. You'll see here the simple routes of left and right going along. The next map variant, just like the last, has a left and right flank. But what this also includes is a primary push on the top and a secondary lower push in the middle. This adds a different dynamic and allows players to use different flanking methods. Here are the two primary flanking methods on this map using boats and river crossings. Finally, we're going to look at the most advanced map out of the three. One with a lower section, one with a middle section, and one with an upper section, which also has a left and a right flank, as you'll see. But not only does it have a left and a right flank on the lower section, the middle section here also has a left and a right flank, as you can see here. In addition to these left and right lower flanks, there's also an added variable, and that's the ability to actually move between the left and the right flank on the lower section. Here's the map overview of being able to flank left and right with the added ability to move back and forth on the lower section if one flank is blocked off. So I guess the question is, if I'm a newer player, where do I want to go? My first recommendation is up the middle where the main point of enemies are. Reason being is you're going to have the most team support and you're going to be able to hold that position even if they're stronger than you for quite a while because you have numbers essentially and that's going to give more skilled players time to flank around you. And when you do go down or you can't hit anything, there'll be enough players around to hopefully pick you back up, keep you going again. Secondly, you're also going to get time to learn how to do moving, cover, and close-in combat for aiming, which is going to really help you in the long run. As a newer player or a less skilled player, once you do want to push out a little more, what you can start doing is flanking as a team. This is really important because when you get shot down, blown apart, you'll have guys there to help pick you up. Also, only one of you has to make it through because as long as one makes it through, the other guys can respawn you can complete nice. your flank and start pushing the flags or objectives. I got both you. Early on, we went over the types of maps, the variants of flanking. We just discussed how or what to do as a newer player. How can I be the most productive? Now we're going to talk about the types of flanks you can do once you start gaining skill or you're a more experienced player. The first flank type we're going to work on is the solo flank or essentially a pull-off flank. What this involves is having a better team that's pushing the heck out of you. You're gonna go behind them by yourself or with a couple people, and you're not trying to capture the flag to hold the flag. You're trying to pull their main squads or main players off the primary middle flag. So me. here, I'm not taking fights that I don't have to. I'm making sure I stay low. I'm trying to bide my time. I will be overrun. We will not be able to hold this flag. But what we're trying to do is hold it long enough that the few flares that are here can't take it back and the good squads or high skill players are going to have to come back. That's right on my body. Stay there, stay there, stay there, stay there. Nice follow me. You'll see here, I'm trying to not pick any fights I don't have to. 
I'm just trying to bait them in as long as I can. My point here is to survive for as long as I can. Eventually I'm going to be overrun, but what you'll see is about two to three squads had to come back to take only three or four of us out. That now leaves the front objective, C flag, open for recapture and our main forces can start to push up. That's a good example of a pull-off style flank. The next flank I want to talk about is the mid flank. This is not designed to take an objective, but to pull players off in between objectives and allow your numbers to amass so they're more than them. Right here I'm going to show you a good example. I could go for A here, but instead I decide to do a mid flank. I take out a bunch of players trying to stop the progression of the rest of my team in hopes that I can essentially allow them to push up as much as possible. While this is a good flank, you don't want to only use this tactic because you'll never capture objectives. The last flank we're going to talk about is the hard flank. This essentially is waiting for your enemy to have a weak or low player situation and pushing through systematically. I'm going to let the video run here so you can hear me chatting with the guys and watch how we push through this. This is used for more skilled players, and you need a team to do this. You can't do this solo. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you guys get out there, start flanking, and take this knowledge to other modes and use it there because it's useful in every style of battlefield. Oh. Watch out, he's throwing more dynamite. Oh shit. We're getting pushed hard, boys. You wanna push this or what? We can. It's gonna be sketchy though, all gonna be below us to the right. I'm outside. There's one more, there's only one, there's only one, there's only one. I'm gonna continue to suppress. He's down to the left. He's pushing up right now. They come to look like that. I need to reload. <sighs> nice. They're up on the windows. Alright, I'm back behind. They're gonna push the seat. There's only one over here where I just died. He's I'm, trying to, I'm trying to get through. I'm trying to push through. There's two now. Spawn on me. Spawn on me. Can you guys spawn on me or not? Yeah. I, I just... Okay, let's hit C. You guys are comfortable. All right, he's done, he's done. On C. Third. On C now. I'm hiding up in the stands. Okay, cool, spread out here. Here they come, right side here. Got him. I got one guy going around. He's on that way now. Oh, got another guy over here as well. Ooh, they made it to A. Nice, we traded. I think he's on the roof. He's on the roof. Floor, same floor above me. Thanks for watching, guys. Please subscribe. Really helps grow the channel. Or follow me on Twitter.